Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of our Career Partners Coffee Club. I'm your host, Kathy Kayaza from the Green Center. Today's topic is life design, and I chose this topic because not only is it the approach that we use with students, but it's also a great framework to help individuals navigate change and disruption when it happens. And of course, this is a particularly timely topic um, in our in our current circumstances. So what is life design? Life design is basically a framework that developed from design thinking. So if you're not familiar with design thinking, it's really a way to develop creative solutions to problems. And when you apply it to yourself, as opposed to, let's say, the development of a new product or service, when you apply it to yourself, it helps you solve the problem of what do you want to do with your life? So this is really just a framework and a, and a, a way for students and individuals to approach how, do, how can they come up with creative solutions to answering that question of what they want to do with their lives? So there's four main guiding principles that stem from life design and they're written here for you. So get curious, try stuff out, talk to people and tell your story. And it really boils down to those four things. And so as you're working with students who may be feeling stuck, um, who may be feeling overwhelmed or really unsure where to go from here because the current pandemic has sort of disrupted the plans that they, they had in place, whether that was for the summer or for the academic year ahead, whatever that might be. Some really basic principles, if you can help them remember these four things, can help them get unstuck. So get curious, help them think about ways that they can explore the things that they're interested in. Um, what are their curiosities? What have they maybe always had an interest in? And how can you help them explore that, whether that's through their classroom work or outside of the classroom as well? And then trying stuff out. So this is really, um, in a designer's world, what they call prototyping. And all it means is trying something to see if it's a good fit for you. So that could be talking to someone who works in a, an industry that you're interested in and find out a little bit more about um, what that environment, what that culture is like. Um, and see if it's if it if it connects to your interests and skills. Um, if it's not, that's okay. That's useful information to help you decide. Okay, well maybe that's not the direction for me. I'm going to go try something different. So just helping students think creatively about different ways that they can get exposure to new things um, and try different things on for themselves to see if it's a good fit or not and talking to people as part of that. So I mentioned talking to industry professionals, but just talking to as many people as possible. That could be, you know, of course, folks in the Green Center, but of course, faculty and staff. Um, but it's also talking to alumni. What are alumni doing who graduated with um, maybe a similar major that a student did? Talk to industry professionals who might be working in an area that a student is interested in. So really, really asking people for directions how do they get to where they are? What do they recommend for me? Um, those are wonderful ways to really lean into your network and help you find your way. And then telling your story. So helping students think about um, what, are the, what are the key components um, about their story that have really gotten them to where they are now and making connections with how those experiences um, help them develop where they wanna go next. So how does life design help students navigate change and disruption? It's really about getting unstuck. So when change happens, it's helping students understand through those four um, principles, if you will, to reframe problems into opportunities and to help them make decisions when they now have information about what is a good fit for them and what isn't a good fit for them. Um, it also teaches students to embrace failure and have a growth mindset. So failure is a critical part of life design. It's that whole trying things on and seeing what's a good fit or not. And you have to experience failure in order to get closer to the things that are a good fit. So it's really leaning into that growth mindset that failure is not a negative, but a positive that's going to help um, individuals progress forward. And then of course, through that is teaching them to develop their adaptability and resilience competences, competencies, which we know is so critical now um, and for the future. 
And I think most importantly, what life design does is dismantle this idea that there's one right pathway out there for every single person. That is just not true. And if we can use life design as a tool to help students think, gosh, there's a variety of pathways out there for me and any one of them can lead to success and happiness um, and lead to a meaningful life. Um, the more that we can embed that into students thinking, the more um, able these students are gonna get unstuck and realize that if one literally door closes, there are others that are already open and they can pursue those as well. So that's just a very um, quick overview of life design and how it can help students that you're working with. Um, I encourage you to stay connected. I'm interested in the topics that you all wanna hear about. So if there are um, topics that you would like to have a Career Partners Coffee Club session about, feel free to send them those my way. My email address is c.kayaza, that's C-A-I-A-Z-Z-A -Z -Z -A, at rochester.edu. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.